What's up everybody, I'm Dr. Brett Jones and you may have caught one of my videos where we are doing artful chiropractic flows and what you'll see is adjusting multiple people at one time with multiple tables and there's a reason to this and I'm actually never slowed down to communicate what's happening in a group dynamic when you have an open bay style of adjusting. So in our office in Oakland, California, we utilize this. Uh, we think it's a great way for people to interconnect with one another. And the tables are spaced by a certain distance for a certain reason. We know the electromagnetic field of the body expands anywhere from four to six feet off the body. And so actually as a chiropractor becomes highly attuned, they can be working with multiple energies interweaving at one time. Also from an educational perspective, if I'm communicating one thing to one person, the other person gets the benefit from it. And what you'll also see is that um, it's ideal for somebody to integrate in between each chiropractic impulse for at least one to two minutes. And so that gives me the capability of adjusting one person and then letting them relax and integrate and then moving on to the next. But um, you'll get to see it and I'll talk through some of this and I hope you enjoy this. You know, why adjusting multiple people in one room at one time can be a great thing. And so we'll go ahead and start here. And so when I got multiple t uh, people at the uh, table at one time, I'm often needing to integrate a lot of information. And so for those that are starting out, start off with one, then maybe go to two. I prefer three. And then you'll, you know, get started with connecting with one person in specific and always reading tone, right? Life is the expression of tone through matter. And so a lot of the checks that I utilize are tonal and have insight on the biotensegrity of the body. So how is it all interrelated? And then from getting insight on the tone, I might have a certain area that I want to go to. And then in that area, I can investigate. For our person right here, I want to integrate breath. And so just sometimes it's as easy as just giving the actual tonal cue of touch. And sometimes actually the instruction of breathe into this. And so as I connect with Kelly here, we're connecting to a, a sacral dysfunction that's actually picked up in the tensegrity analysis through the heel. Right there as I tension the heel, the SI joint does not move through time and space correctly. And so I'm connected here. This one is gonna be more of an osseous adjustment. So high velocity adjustment, go this side up for me on your side. Beautiful. So we currently have one person integrating breath, one person waiting and relaxing, one person being adjusted. Take a breath in, let it out. Opening right through there. Good, face down again. So now I can have Kelly integrate that adjustment as I move over here, checking in, biotensegrity through the heels, clearing the system, listening at the depths. So even just in visualization, detecting that we have a crunching of energy here. So more CT junction, anchoring in at the T4. It's right there. It is also osseous adjustment. Take a breath in. Let it out. Perfect. Let me come back to the first person that we originally connected with. Good, so now breathing better. So for this one, integrating a lot better through the mid to upper thoracic. So that may not be an area that we need to put a high velocity impulse. You know, there's a few ways for the innate forces to go to work for healing. One is through breath, one's through movement, and the other one's through internal adaptation from external force. So that's you know the chiropractic adjustment that we're a lot used to. So now I'm picking up L1, L2. It's compression, it needs to be released, superior to inferior. Go this side up for me on your side. So even in the background, I know that we got uh, Kelly on the right, who's been integrating that adjustment for about 70 seconds now. Claudia on the left, been integrating for about 45. Right there. Good, and go face up. So now I can continue to work. So now we're coming up, you know, on the proper time of integration here. 
It's also great, you know, if we have some, some patients that um, need to move slower. So sometimes the geriatric community uh, or population spend a little bit more time on the table so you can allow them to move slower. And sometimes you get a type A personality that just wants to come in, come out. And so you can just run through uh, one table real quick on your back. So great first adjustment, integrated well, thoracics feel uh, integrated and functional, so we're gonna leave them alone. Kelly's currently navigating through a left shoulder issue. I am connecting to C5, C6 on the left side, so it's right here. Perfect, right in the line. Still integrating here. Gonna return to Claudia on the left. Tensegrity through the heels is reading perfect. Integrating very well through the upper thoracic. Go ahead and roll to the back. So as she transitions, I can come back here. I know that I have yet to check the neck here. Hmm. So we're going C7 actually into the first rib on the right side. See how it sounded different. That's a first rib adjustment. You can double check here, see how we integrated that left cervical. Pretty damn good. So all clients starting at the source, you know, get a full functional assessment. And based on that full functional assessment, we come up with a plan. And then we follow up on that plan. Right there. Okay. So that was the last piece because we had a CT junction problem. We adjusted the T5 just the cervical, the last remaining piece was the opening of the C5-T1. This system is integrated for the day. System's still working on integration. So there's a tone of peace, there's a tone of presence, there's a tone of clarity. You know, um, it's real important to give a body space to heal. A lot of times a uh, chiropractor or just anybody that can work on somebody can put too much into a system at one time. And so uh, healing is less of an event and more of a process. And so how much space are you allowing for the inner healer to go to work? And so we can recheck at the heels here, checking the medial malleoli for balance, also checking the biotensegrity of the system through the heels, side to side, everything's looking really good, Claudia is all set. Beautiful, thank you. Uh-huh. We're still processing here. He's gonna give a little bit more time here. And that's enough for Kelly today as well. You come on up. Thank you. And then seeing how we're doing. Okay, so there's still a little bit more in Lauren's system that's calling. So we got C6 on the left, this is gonna be more of a unilateral facet. So just adjusting the left side, not going through the right side. So the vector changes. Nice little flick. That is it. So it was more of a superficial release, but that's what was needed. So we gotta be able to dial in the pressure. She's also getting stuck at the right, uh, left pubic symphysis. It's superior, it's the, where the pelvis comes and meets each other in the front, there it was. So we traction, so wherever you traction a system to is where you'll get a release. And so I'm watching, you can even watch right here, as I traction, boom, that's where it connects to. So once I got that, I send the impulse through and that's where you'll get the release. All right, all set, beautiful, thank you. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Just uh, taking a moment to slow it down a little bit, talk through it. Uh, obviously there's a lot more going on than I'm all the way communicating. I think you need a few hours with me or maybe even a few days with me to, to get really what's happening. But that gives you at least a little bit more insight so that you become more aware of why multiple tables, what are some of the benefits of it and what it looks like. So hope you enjoy that. Until next time, peace.